Bro. <laughs> That's all right, my friend. So I, my boy Chi Chi's came in for a little bit, and then he said he had a he had a potential uh, filter date, you know. Oh yeah. And uh, but he said he uh, he leaves you with he leaves me with uh, in great hands That's with uh, El Tio. El Tio, Bro. I say, it, man. That's all you gotta do, you know. Oh man, this is perfect because you know what, Tio? I actually was looking forward to you meeting my next guest. Oh, the guy from the Three Stooges, Curly. <laughs> well, my next guest <laughs> is not the Three Stooges. What? Well, 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 yeah, well, let, which one is? Do you let, think? Me, let me check my eyes. Let me check my eyes. Do me a favor. Say, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No? Okay. No. <laughs> well, no. listen, my, okay, my next okay. guest is All not right. Curly, okay. Uh, okay, or whatever the Three Stooges guy is. All right. His name is Ernie Green. And Ernie, Curly Green. Ernie Green. Ernie. Curly Ernie. Green. Okay, Ernie okay. Green. And he's actually a, a boxing writer. He does a boxing writing for uh, the Niagara Gazette. And um, and then he also is a comedian as well, right? How yes. long have you been doing a, 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 a is it stand-up? Stand-up, yeah. Using stand-up? Okay. Well, I'm sitting down right now, but I, I do stand-up uh, <laughs> yeah. once in a while also. So there you go. Yeah, you are funny looking. Yeah. Yeah. I am funny looking. I, I, I will say that. Last week I... Uh, Last week I tried to enter an ugly contest and they said, "Sorry, Ernie, no professionals." <laughs> no. Anyway, so I can do I can do a lot of things. I can stand up. I can sit out. I can walk. I can, Damn. I can fetch. I can do a bunch of shit. Yeah. Shit. But um, in all seriousness, no. I started comedy in 2011, so it'll be nine years in July, and it's been a heck of a lot of fun. So cool, man. Yeah. And so, did you grow up in uh? Cause you write for the Niagara Gazette, so that I'm assuming. That is uh, upstate? Yeah, uh, so I, I grew up, yeah. My hometown is directly in between Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Okay. Called North Tonawanda. Good luck trying to say that one the first time. Right. But, you know, so Tonawanda, yeah. So uh, I grew up there. I worked for a paper called the Tonawanda News, which is not even in existence anymore. But the Niagara, Niagara Gazette was the um, sister paper of that, like the big, the big, you know, okay. the big paper. So that's where I kind of gravitated to now, and I help them with stuff, and but mainly just do boxing stuff for them when I can. Okay. So, 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 what's your stage name when you go on stage? I don't. Ernie Green. Ernie Green. Ernie okay. Green. Yes. Okay. That's when you know you made it big. When okay. you don't need a stage name, you okay. just say, "My name is Ernie Motherfucking Green." The one advantage about having Ernie. As your name is like, you don't have to explain, you know, not a lot of Ernie's in this world. So I can just yeah. pretty much say, hey, it's Ernie. I can call you 10 years from now and say, hey, it's Ernie. You know what it's going to be, right? True. Yeah. It's like true, the, the true. disadvantage of your name being Ernie is pretty much everything else. But that's one. Of the, <laughs> that's the advantage of your name is uh, of your name being Ernie, you know? Well, when so. I think of Ernie, I think of uh, the Sesame Street character. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah? Yeah, the Sesame Street. If you were, if you were a Sesame Street character, Ernie, if he was a Sesame Street character... What do you who do you think would 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 he be? Probably Oscar. Oscar? Yeah, the Grouch. Is it because yeah, of the chest Oscar, hair? Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. Is yeah, it the because chest, of the chest yeah. hair? But probably the chest hair. Because he's so hairy. And so dirty too. Damn, bro. And Nakama, yeah. Bro, I was gonna say, I thought it was me because I was like smelling myself a little bit, but then I just yeah. realized I took a shower. I'm like, hell, you know he is right. I don't know if it's because of the hairy or could you stink. I could be a little bit of both, man. Yeah. Hey, I work a lot of part time. Little column A, little column B, right? I do, I do she ride. That's drive right. Ride. You do, you do have a lot of jobs. I do, I do she ride, drive ride, rock, and uh, do a lot of a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Ernie. So, yes. so, um, so we're we're gonna talk about tonight. We're gonna talk about the Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fight mm -hmm. uh, coming up. Let, on let's February, check them out. Let's see where he's February twenty second. So we're gonna show some highlights here of the first fight. Um, but um. But yeah, so let me ask you a question because we we are talking about boxing tonight. Um, what made you fall in love with boxing? You know, when I was a kid, I got I mean, you, I'm going to be really showing my age, but uh, Sugar Ray Leonard had a like a, a boxing kit. It was like this, very much like a like a, it was like a um, a double ended bag. You just kind of hit and you get like little gloves and whatnot. So I kind of I got that as a Christmas gift one year. So I was hitting the bag and whatnot, and then. I became a Sugar Ray Leonard fan because of that, and right after that, like Mike Tyson came about, and I mean, yeah. everybody loved Mike Tyson, and I kind of got it. Mike Tyson, yeah, yeah. And then um, pretty much after that, kind of it kind of just grew. Like I loved Oscar De La Hoya. Okay. People forget like this is one of the craziest like awesome days of sports in American history. Um, in 1992, um, Oscar De La Hoya won the gold medal. 
And then oh, literally yeah. right at, literally right after that was the dream team winning the gold medal over Croatia. That was an awesome day of sport. So a oh, ton of was people. Was it too. today? Not to, what's that? No, it wasn't today. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that this is a crazy day of sport. It was in August like 92. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was oh. just an awesome, crazy day of sports for yeah, watch that. this country. Yeah, I watched both at the same time. So then became an Oscar fan, you know, and, you know, Oscar, Roy Jones. And it's kind of and now, you know, I started writing. There's a guy from my hometown named Baby Joe Macy. Who, who at one time was the number one ranked heavyweight by the WBC before he had to retire because he suffered a hematoma against Vasily Giroff. So I was covering boxing. I was covering his career, going to Vegas, going to New York City. So Giroff is actually from here. Yeah, Giroff yeah, was in Scottsdale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just saw him a couple months ago. He's, really, yeah. he's doing really well. So when I covered boxing, I fell in love with it even more. There used to be a bar in Canada we used to go to called Daily Planet, and I've never told this story, but... I always suggested going there on Saturdays and, you know, there were a lot of good looking girls there, of course. Yeah. But if you, there was no cover, they had every single pay per view fight there. So everyone else is, you know, trying to, you know, trying to smash and whatnot, right, you know. Right, right, right. So did I, but I went after the fight. So, you know, I, I watched a bunch of, like, fights. I watched. Uh, so I, when you say smash, when you say smash, what do you mean by smash? Like, um, you know, go to, you know, uh, meet a girl, go wherever afterwards and study the Bible. They're gonna oh, smash okay, okay. Oh, okay. Smash I thought you were talking about like smashing. No, like, no, 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 no. Okay, I was like, no, no, because he, no. I mean, because that's probably no, what no, he used to do in, in Mexico. Yeah. No, 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 Gervonta Davis shit. Oh, okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. I smashed that last night too, you know. No, no, you no. smash? Or were you like smashing the Bible? No, not smashing the Bible. I was smashing. Nice. Oh, nice. And mashing, too. Oh, oh, oh there you smash smashing. That's a little too much. That's a little TMI, but... <laughs> <laughs> but no, so, you know, we would go. So, I, I mean, I watched both Lennox Lewis versus um, Holyfield fights there. Oh, yeah. I watched Tyson Galata there. I watched um, De La Hoya versus Vargas and De La Hoya versus Trinidad and De La Hoya versus um, Mosley there because they were just free. So, I was like, everyone else is running around drinking and whatnot. I'm sitting at the TV just staring at the, you know... TV, probably one of the reasons why I'm single, you know, but still, it's free, you free boxing, so, and I kind of just gravitated, and it's been a big fan ever since, and I started writing again about a year and a half ago. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, so, so, so how long you been writing for, for the, um, for the Gazette? On and off since 1997, but there was a period wow. of time in between where I wasn't, so. Okay, and did you ever, um, get into the sport? I mean, um... <clears throat> I, I go training at a boxing gym, not often as you can tell, but um, I go training at a boxing gym here in town. I go back when I'm in town in Niagara Falls. My cousin's actually an owner of a boxing gym in Niagara Falls. Okay. In Buffalo, actually. They have the, in Buffalo, he's a part owner. And then my friend Ray is an owner of a boxing gym. I go work out there. So I go work out, you know, at those places. I fought, like, one, like, charity fight one time a long time ago. Really? Oh, and, uh, yeah. Okay. So, and that was kind of so, like... So you got knocked out on the first round or what? No, I, I didn't get knocked out. Oh, oh damn. Oh, he didn't get knocked out. No, I didn't oh, get knocked out. You look at him furious now. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared. Hey, you know what? Speak, speaking of that charitable fight, um, that was one thing I actually wanted to talk to you about because... I know you probably, you say you have a Facebook account, but I still don't understand it. I don't really know if you do, because I tag you in a lot of my Facebook posts on the um, A to Z combat page on our Facebook page. Yeah. If you don't know, now you know. A to Z combat does have a Facebook page, and we talk about a lot about, um, you know, in, in between uh, events. So if there's not, a, if we have a podcast next month, you know, we cover a lot of the stuff in between in that in that uh, Facebook page. Yeah, so, yeah. And for the ones don't understand what he said, I'll say in Spanish: Facebook, 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 Facebook. Or, or That's your Spanish. Or, or el face, el face, el face. El okay, face, there you face, go. Yeah, like okay, that. okay. You, you can check it out there. You know. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Point, point español, tío. Oh. Yeah. You yeah. speak Spanish. Oh, I studio Espanol at a escuela for cinco años, pero no entiendo mucho. Damn, oh, bro. How does he, the white guy know more Spanish than you, bro? Uh, what did he say? I don't understand what he said. What did oh, he say? yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you, Ernie. Um, ever since my man, uh, El Tio, uh, got his green card, his citizenship, he uh, really doesn't like talking Spanish anymore. Por qué? I don't know what you're saying. What did he say? Oh, you, no see what I'm saying? you see what I'm saying? Stupid but, audio. Stupid but listen, audio. but listen. So I don't even know if you really even have a Facebook page, bro, because I tag you and I tag you for a reason. Because we know how much you love Chavez. Oh, so, yeah. Chavez, yeah, he's a bitch. Yeah, well, I, t I put on the Facebook, on the Facebook group page, that there is a big announcement of a fight coming up that's in the works. And I want to tell you right in front of everybody yes. is... Chavez, your Chavez, my Chavez is coming back. 
Hell yeah, man. He's coming back. And guess, out, guess, who's he's, guess who he's fighting? The, the guy that runs all the line. Who? The guy that runs all the line. The guy that retired, he, he runs a lot. He always dodges all the time. Who's that? I don't know who he's so talking the, about. The championship. T. Oh, you're not talking about that guy again. Is it Mayweather? Is that his name? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who he is. But, yeah, but uh, he's, he's fighting, who's he fighting against? No, he's definitely not fighting Mayweather. He, no, he's definitely not fighting Mayweather. Okay, okay. And we've already talked about this. He doesn't run, okay? He boxes. Oh, well, anyways, okay. listen, that's a whole different topic. Stick okay, but he is fighting somebody that you're going to love because this ah. fight is going to be for charity. And it's a sparring. It's an exhibition ma- match. It's Chavez Sr., not Chavez Jr., yeah, like that. versus Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, you shit. The, the, like the that. trilogy. The trilogy. Oh, the damn. trilogy. Yeah, bro. Oh. So that's why I, I'm saying, bro. Like, I don't even. Damn. Know, I mean, like, you say you're on Facebook, but, like, you don't ever like my posts. You don't like my, my stuff. And I said, I have a big announcement, and you're going to love it. And you never oh, said yeah. shit. Yeah, I don't want the, the fucking shit. The shit though is kind of hard to understand, but I'm gonna get well, into it. I, I mean, I'm gonna in, get into your it. Defense, hey, in your you, guys, you guys follow me, and I put some shit in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, they follow you, but you won't even say anything, bro. I'll say. Okay. You know what you need to do? You need to change. You need to trade in that flip phone, bro, and get a smartphone now, bro. That's what it is. It's easier to go on Facebook yes. if you go on this, if you have a smartphone. If you put it on WhatsApp, I'll respond really quick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we there's a potential fight coming up there during the works. Oscar when is the fight? When is Oscar fight? La Hoya got to get in shape because Chavez is already in shape, bro. Yeah. If you watch some sparring uh, or some uh, training footage of Chavez, yeah. he's already ready to go. As idea? a matter of fact, this guy, there is a video leaked out, and I put it on the Facebook page on A to Z Combat. Um, of Chavez, he was about to beat his son's ass, Ch- Chavez oh, Jr. Yeah, it was funny. I like Man, that. he was talking all this. Shit. Did you watch that video? I did. Yes. I'm like, damn. I, I, unlike some people in this conversation, I follow you. Oh, oh there you go, yeah, I'm like, yeah. bro. What happened? No, I, bro? I did see that. I hey, did, I did post something. I I just saw that you uh, grabbed one of my straws. Yeah, so man. So you're a strong guy now, huh? For, for now, yes, I am. Ah, see, I told this you. This guy's but... ladies can't see me drink and see my beautiful eyes if I, I have to put on the straw. Damn. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, so, but yeah, so that's uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about. <clears throat> we got that that fight coming up uh, pretty when, soon. When is it? Uh, oh, it's still in the works. It's still in the works. I'll show you I got to get off the uh, donuts. And uh, get in the gym, but uh, that's gonna be a good one. That, yeah, that yeah. one's gonna be a good I'm one. To watch that, that one's one. gonna be a good one. Um, but yeah. So other than that, um, um, yeah, we're good. We're good. Then so we're gonna go ahead and go into our next segment called uh, Round and Pound uh, with Sam Bam. And um, yeah, we got we got some Let's questions. Go. You got some questions for us, right? I got some questions. Where's the rest? Are you? Are you um, what are you drinking in there, buddy? I'm drinking some 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 tequila. And some bullshit in there. Hey, man, you know, we're, we're really going to have to address that. What's wrong with this? Man, now I, I'm convinced. I don't think it's that you stink, bro. It's like that hair. You look, you look like, you look like, damn, bro. Like you could yeah. have a perm. You could have a perm on your chest hair, bro. Like, 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 the, uh, like the easy perm? If, yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy. That's for damn yeah. sure. And ladies and muchachas, the real women like this. <laughs> and they like to caress like this too at the same time like this. Ernie, are you a, are you are you a chess hair guy? He's amazed. He's amazed. I'm, I'm pretty sure we discovered where the coronavirus came from. <laughs> 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 oh.